But so you may be new to the channel, but if you're not, then you know that I've had one of these for quite a while. You could see it in my Crystal Sky monitor a while back. But recently I picked up a second sentence controller. So I thought I'd do a little two part series. One, a quick unboxing, show you everything that comes in it. And then I'll follow this up with the second part with a really detailed kind of in-depth overview, review of the sentence controller. Um, I've had one of these from right when they came out and as a one man operator to me, it's an indispensable piece of gear. Let's get this thing open. Right off the bat on the inside, you have three pamphlets for your sentence patch antenna. This is a piece that is coming with the sentence controller right now. Um, the date has changed a little bit, so it says right now through April 30th. I imagine that might go on further, but if you wanna make sure that you get a sentence patch antenna, we'll go through that in the second video, really what the advantages there are, then order before April 30th. A sentence remote controller and WB37. One, this is the battery for the sentence. Same battery that's used in the Crystal Sky as well. So let's open this up. You've got a one box here. We'll go through these accessories. And then on the inside, you have this molded foam that you can see the Simmons controller in. So let's um, turn this so we can get it out. And the Simmons controller itself, we'll hit that in a minute. And then what I think is a lanyard harness, if I remember right. All right, so let's jump through um, what's included really quick. This little, uh, plastic bag here, open it up. Yeah, you have a lanyard harness. So you can put this on, then you've got two clips to hold onto this. It's a good idea, this is a little bit heavy and after probably you know quite a bit of use or if you wanna take your hands off of it at all while you're going, having the lanyard hooked onto it is nice. So we'll put the uh, so lanyard harness here. It's really well built, one buckle right here, dual straps, you can unclip it and leave this attached to the sentence remote controller. Set that to the side. We'll open up this box here. In that box, we have these couple of bags and this piece here, which has the original stock antennas. So right now they are shipping the sentence controller with what's called a patch antenna right here but it also comes with the stock antennas. One thing I'll tell you really quick before I dive into the patch antenna in the second video. So the patch antenna is more of a directional solution. These are more omnidirectional. So if you're generally using these, I would throw these back on, but we'll talk about special use cases for the patch antenna in a future video. You get a little screwdriver, a little wing nut type of accessory for these dust covers. And then you have a, a crystal sky mount to go onto your Crystal Sky controller to go onto here. So this goes onto the bottom of your Crystal Sky controller and fits into this little piece right here where it'll just slide right on. And that is it. And that's what holds it in. Right, so let's go through this. You've got a couple of screws. The screws are what hold this to the Crystal Sky monitor. So these are for the bracket. And they send you a screwdriver for that. And here you've got some dust covers, but the way that these basically work is that you can take this tool here that's included, it's like a little wing, put it over the stick, it locks into these two little dashes here. So you can unscrew these, they pop off. Then you can put these little dust covers right on here. Then you use this accessory, once again, back over to screw those down. So you get this little protective covering here over your sticks. So you can see the one that's not and the one that is. Build quality on the Simmons controller, really, really high. This is a, oh, and here's your WB37 battery included with it. It uh, comes plugged into the back of the sentence controller. So let's go over the build of it really quick. You've got your, you know, your uh, sticks here. And coming down, you've got an LCD screen. So when you turn it on, you get all of your information, your telemetry information, all of that, your battery health, um, your speed, your altitude, uh, your distance, all of that. You've got programmable buttons all over here. So you've got a menu button, return to home button, a wheel here for follow focus so that on lenses that can electronically focus, you can turn this to focus them. Uh, that's a great addition that you don't have in your regular Phantom. You've got regular jog wheels up here like you do on your Phantom and then you've got some slide dials here on the side. So if you see these. And then in addition to that on the back, you have C1 and C2 here. 
So two more buttons back here. Then up here you have your uh, your shutter button for pictures, you have your start record, you have AF off and on, and you have this BG and BH, and then your mode adapter here. So, so in my second video in the in-depth, I'll get into programming all of these. Just wanted to give you an overview of the controller. The Synthesis controller runs about a thousand bucks. Might be expensive for some, but if you're a single person operator, um, this has made a huge difference with the way that I can operate off of one remote because I can turn certain things off or on without having to dig through menus and without really having to touch the screen. So for me, the ability to control most things that I need through the Simmons controller and not have to go into the screen and touch it, that's indispensable for me. So overall, the build quality is really nice. It's got this nice matte black and gray finish. The sides are rubberized, so they have a really nice grip to them while the top appears nice and smooth. I use this with my Crystal Sky monitor, but you can use this Take this bracket off. You can get a sentence uh, bracket for your iPhone or for your tablet or whatever. So you don't have to use this with your Crystal Sky monitor, but you can. You also have full HDMI out, so you can go out to a recorder. You've got your USB here for uh, firmware upgrades, whatever. So oftentimes I will take this HDMI out to another recorder and I will have that on a really long HDMI cable that's going into a tent, into a production tent or something where a DP or somebody else is watching it to make sure that we got the shot. So they're seeing a live screen while I'm recording to the Cine SSD on the um, Craft. You have this port on some of your other DJI controllers as well, but um, it is nice to have a full HDMI out to something like an Atomos or to a field monitor or to a small HD or something like that where somebody else can see the live picture and give you direction. So like I said, guys, that's it. Unboxing of the DJI Sentence Controller. Thanks for watching. Hit a subscribe down below. If you're not, hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification when I post new videos. I'm trying to do at least one a week right now. I'm ramping that back up. Now that I've got the studio a little bit wired and it's slowly getting back into shape, I've got a full background. I've got everything going in here so I can start recording some of my portrait shoots, some of my photo sessions, start bringing those out to you with tips and tricks on that kind of stuff, modifiers, lighting, uh, Photoshop, work, Lightroom, whatever. So stay tuned. Lots more to come. And really, thanks for watching, and, um, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.